Sports Illustrated magazine today under fire for an idiotic tweet and an article about a high school football coach. Former high school football coach, you might remember him. His name is Joe Kennedy. Great last name. He lost his job in Bremerton, Washington over his tradition of praying with players after games. Some misguided killjoys claimed players who didn't, get, didn't pray might get blackballed despite zero evidence of that happening. Now the Supreme Court will rule on the case at any moment. In fact, the coach has said he would return to coaching in a heartbeat if the court rules in his favor. Fast forward to now, Sports Illustrated getting ridiculed for an article on the saga and for a tweet which reads, quote, SCOTUS will soon rule on the case of a public school football coach who wants to pray on field after games. At Greg Bishop SI on Joe Kennedy. Oh, wait, is that the end of it? Uh, no. no, is that, are we still going? The machine, uh, the machine backing him, him and expect a result. A win for Kennedy and erosion of a bedrock of American democracy. What? An erosion of a bedrock of American democracy? What in the hell are they talking about? In studio with me now, sports reporter, podcaster, cultural icon, Duh. Michelle Tafoya. <laughs> Great to have you back. Love seeing you. So, I, you know, it's like, I don't care about Coach Joe's religion. I really don't. If, if that's what he needs to do after games, I, I don't care. More power to him. But I am pulling for him because I think the forces against him uh, have their dander up for no reason. It's really interesting. He does this kneel after the game, right? So the game is over. It's not at halftime. It's not at halftime. It's, you know, and, and the piece in Sports Illustrated really delved into his background, which I think is a little bit beside the point. But, you know, it was interesting. But the thing about it is they're finding this line. Is he coercing kids as a public school teacher? Is he coercing kids into doing the same, into praying? Mm -hmm. According to him, he's had a couple parents and even a student come up to him and say, you know, I'm not comfortable with this. And he said, fine, don't do it. Yeah. I don't think this is coercive. I don't, if, I don't think this coach can tell a kid, you know what? You're the best quarterback on my team, but damn it, you didn't pray with me, so you're bad. Yeah, you're second string now, yeah, son. I don't see that happening. Listen, I under I really read this with an open mind and I understand that viewpoint. But again, you can't coerce people by kneeling on a field after a game. I don't know how you can possibly say that that is coercive behavior. I, I don't see it. And the question is, when is he a private citizen? And when is right. he uh, a publicly paid government employee Correct. Yeah. Uh, when he's a coach? So if the game is over, yeah. uh, doesn't he revert to being a private citizen? So that was one of the questions that the justices had. Mm -hmm. And they also wanted proof that coercion happened. Because, you know, coercion may be happening. Uh, that That's not a threshold that that exists here. Right. It has to be, is it happening? Yeah. Not is there potential for it or, or can it, could it, maybe? Sure, a lot of things could happen. A lot of things could happen. He could happen. punch someone in the face for not praying. That didn't happen. That didn't so, happen. So, so we yeah. shouldn't act as though it has. Right. And I think what people are afraid of is this will set precedent that everyone can pray at any time all over the school and blah, blah, blah. Of course, everyone's always afraid of that floodgate being opened. Mm -hmm. And I just don't see it. I see this as such a tiny little sliver of somebody's freedom to express themselves in, in a way that I don't see who it's harming either. We talk about, does anyone get harmed? Mm. And when a student, obviously, or a parent is able to approach a coach and say, you know what, I, I hope this isn't going to affect my son's playing time because I don't want him to do it. And he says, that's OK, yeah. and it doesn't impact his playing time, then I don't see how anyone gets hurt. Yeah, I, do you think he's going to go back to coaching? Do you think the Supreme Court is going to rule in his favor just based on I think it's, the, I the think argument he, and what we've heard? Yeah, I think he does win. You know, whether or not he goes back to coaching, will he be welcome in that community? I'm not sure. I would like to think that he is. He seems to have a lot Good of support. Good Catholic school. That's want a, true. A guy like that. Yeah, that's the other thing about it. I mean, you know, if you're uh, anyway, it's I think he does win this case. Yes. I don't see how you can say that this man is that this is about church yep. and state. It, it doesn't seem to me he's not forcing it on anyone. The school is not forcing yeah. it on anyone. He's just representing himself in that moment. Well, look at the league demonized Tim Tebow and uh, lionized Kaepernick. So yeah. they, they do not have their priorities in order. I'm so glad you're here. Great to see you. Good Michelle to see Toy. you too. I'll see you very soon. Yes. All right.